Hey guys, this is going to be a super quick update video on my lit projective dissolve shader. Uh, long story short, there have been a lot of changes that were made uh, internally, all bug fixes and none of it necessarily noticeable externally. So the one extra feature might not really seem all that important, but trust me, it's, it's a good one. Um, I hadn't really planned to release this until I thought I had squashed all of the bugs that I had seen, but with my time being spent on other things, I decided that it would be better just to release this uh, in its current working state. So really the only new thing to play with is that you now can change the dissolve over lifetime, which has a uh, respect for the dissolve texture. So I've got a dissolve texture in here, like I normally would. If I set my custom two vector from last time to three components, and I've already got a curve in here, but um, this is the value here that's going to control the dissolve over lifetime. You can see it in effect right there, the patterned dissolving working as intended. I can control this curve just like any particle curve to you know, change its properties. So now if I want it to dissolve super quickly in the particle's lifetime, it'll do that. That's unfortunately the only real new feature. Everything else is kind of just internal. I've fixed a lot of rendering issues and sorting issues, but that's all stuff that basically no one cares about. So that's all I've got for you. Uh, hope to see you next time.